last season, Rangers set a record for the least amount of goals conceded in a British league campaign. At the heart of it was Connor Goldson and Philippe Alanda at centre-back. So far this season, Rangers' defensive record has been a shadow of last season, with the backline making a lot of rookie mistakes. The reason for this, nobody really knows, but a big factor is the absence of Philippe Alanda, who picked up a serious knee injury back on the 11th of September against St. Johnston. Halanda was pictured at Akinawi in a protective boot and crutches and fans initially feared the worst and thought he could be out for the whole campaign. But soon after, Rangers put nerves to rest and said that he will most likely return at the start of the new year. At the end of October, Steven Gerrard provided a big update on Halanda, stating that he was 50% of the way through his recovery. And a month on from then, new manager Giovanni Van Bronckhorst has provided another exciting update on his progress ahead of Rangers' clash against Hibernian. He said, Philip is outside on the pitch again and we are slowly bringing him back to fitness levels. Hopefully, we will see him return to the first team training in December. The fact that Halander could be back ahead of the new year is a huge boost for Rangers in defence as Philip Halander does provide something different to the current options that Rangers have. Halander joined Rangers at the start of the 1920 campaign from Bologna for £3.5 million and has since made 49 appearances in all competitions. However, has spent a lot of his time sidelined due to injury. So the next job for Halander is to keep himself fit for a longer period of time. The return of Halander will most probably boost performance levels and provide the defence a bit of competition for the jersey. Currently, Goldson and Bassi have started as the partnership under Giovanni Van Bronckhorst and that's mainly due to the lack of options as Balogun is out injured and Nico Katic is out on loan at Hajduk Split. Rangers fans, are you excited to see Halander return back to the starting eleven? And who would be your starting centre-back partnership for Rangers with everybody available? Let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video, guys. Please do drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. We do cover a lot of Scottish football content here on the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Peace.